Oh my god, I hate this four shot. It takes four fucking seconds. It takes four shots, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Hey, I'm Sino, a low-level competitive Splatoon player that focuses on the slosher class of weapons. In this video, I will be touching on the subject of the new Tetradulis kit. It's a little... something. It's definitely one of the few times Nintendo gave a special to the weapon that people wanted it on, so... Shit, I'll take it. The Light Tetra Duelies, a kit for the Duelies that is a two times sprinkler haver. This would deter the average player because sprinkler bad, but it can have its uses for some weapons. As you know it, Tetris has a feeding playstyle most of the time. They take the attention away from their team in order to get them an opening to be able to knock out the other team, but they also die a lot of the times in the process. Normally a Tetra player is thought of to just go in double digits in deaths half of the time. It's, it's kind of funny. But, there's another way to think. Your picks are supposed to mean something. Well, you could pick off the wiper on the other team. The splash is also somewhere out there, free for the pickings. That's where your differing choices come in. Since I have no analogies, I will use Team Fortress 2 as an example. You see, in most matches of TF2, you have at least one of each character. Ideally, that is. But there is one character that makes everyone's lives easier. The Medic. The Medic is sort of the healer class of Team Fortress 2. He pretty much has very little damage output, but his healing is unmatched. If he spends enough time, he gets this uber charge, and pretty much, depending on what you're using, you are invincible, or you have critical hits, or you are invulnerable to certain types of damage. So, as the only healer on the team, you think that they are one of the most important picks in the game. You'd be right. In Team Fortress 2, it takes 40 to 160 seconds to charge one uber charge. So, it takes you a while to really get that invincibility. With the pressure of other players, you would think that it would be near impossible to get that charge, but that's where team play comes into hand. So the correlation? Other than me just rambling about one of my favorite games other than Splatoon, some people or characters are better to get picks on than others. By killing the splash in certain situations, some teams can barely even sustain a push without waiting for their teammate to come back, and during that downtime your team can capitalize off of the missing player and how much it cripples their comp. The new Tetra kit definitely works off of this playstyle. With staying alive for longer than you would normally last, Sprinkler can pay in a good amount of points for you. Then you can use the Sprinkler as a last resort protection, but you have to be really desperate for that. Your pressuring of the enemy team and getting points through Sprinkler can give you just enough time to get the special that so many people have been wanting on it for a while. Zipcaster. Not only does it refill your ink tank, but you can sling around the place like Spider-Man. It can be predictable though, so don't be too obvious or place your destination poorly. Idiot. I find it funny how with the new kit, Tetra players can get out there a lot easier. Diving the backline or a crab tank and bringing whoever was in position then into a desert in Nevada. It's crazy, honestly. The main thing is, you are going to have to learn a new way of playing Tetris if you play in a more feeding-oriented playstyle. The new kit relies on getting these important picks, with Zipcaster helping with that way of playing. But if you're dying, you're not really going to get either. There are many possible playstyles for the weapon. I am not the one you should ask for how it should be played. Don't go 20 deaths in a game because at that point, the kit isn't even making a difference for you. Overall though, I think the new Tetra kit will be a breath of fresh air for the Tetra players. It seems like a trend for the new kit to have just a bunch of people running Ink Saber Main in order to have their Zipcaster last for a bit longer, which seems reasonable considering that they want to get value out of their special. Just wondering how people are going to play tetras without as much qr because currently it's just people running in 
If there are any subjects related to the new Tetra Dooley's kit that you want to hear me out on, tell me in the comments. I will get to responding as soon as I can. Summer has started for me after all. Today was a short vid, but I think I've given all of my reasonable opinions now. I'm hoping for a decent soda slusher kit. Please, Nintendo. Thank you for watching, have a good day, night, whatever you have ahead of you, and most importantly, look at the new additions to the game in an optimistic light, even if it looks very bad.